I've been in need of a proper sled for cutting segments for a segmented wood turning. And I was poking around the YouTube and I found Jerry Bennett's sled. And he's come up with a sled that uses two fences and the angle of your segment is based on the difference of the angle between those two fences. And it's not based on how the runner in the sled or how the fence is angled to the blade, like a traditional sled. I made the base of the sled out of 3 quarter inch MDF. And I could do the work that's usually done with a router and a bunch of jigs with the CNC machine. So you need a hole for the pivoting bolt for each sled. Then you need a curved slot for the anchoring bolt for each sled. And both of those need a hole for the, the shaft of the bolt and a recess for the head of the bolt so the sled will sit flush on the table saw. And I cut two fences out of the MDF. Then it's a matter of figuring out where to drill the bolt holes in those fences. So I need one at the end. I wanted a little bit of a square bit in the sled so the, the lag bolt won't rotate so much in the sled. And I can attach the fences. And once I do that, I can then mark where the second hole will go, which needs to ride in the slot in the bed of the sled. I can mark where that is and then drill a hole in that slot. And then I can attach the fences. Now I can make the strip that will ride in the T-slot on the table saw. Now another nice trick that Jerry has on his in his videos is to make the strip that runs in the table saw to make it adjustable so that it fits nice and snug in the in the t-slot so you can drill a hole cut a slot in that hole and then put a screw into the hole and what that lets you do is adjust the thickness of the ends of the, the strip of wood with the screw then it's a matter of attaching that strip to the sled now because of the way this sled works, it really doesn't have to be perfectly square to the blade. So I just got it sort of close with the, with the fence of the table saw. And I can clamp it to the bottom once I have the two-sided tape attached. Then it's just a matter of putting some screws in to, to hold it in place. And the sled is basically put together. Now what I figured out before I even started this was that I could make my wedge or my piece that gives me the angle between the two fences on the CNC machine. So I can make different angled setup pieces. So if I want 12 segments, I make a 15 degree wedge and I can just stick that in between the two fences and I'm ready to go. Do its first cut. I tried it on a test ring. And what I realized really quickly, and I, I kind of knew in the back of my head was going to be true, was that with the, the sled on only one side of the blade, the segment drops off right next to the blade. Now in, in Jerry's design, he's got a zero clearance insert for the table saw that's got a little shoulder on it that helps the, the segment drop away from the blade a little further. I wanted to take the, the safety up just a, a little bit more with my sled. So after making this ring and seeing that it, it works really well, and I got a ring that doesn't have any gaps in it, and I don't have to glue in, in two halves and then sand and then put the two halves together, it all works out in one glue up. So what I want to do is add a little bit more to the sled so that it's more of a traditional sled where you have bed on both sides of the blade. So I made the extra bit of bed out of the same piece of MDF. 
and then I need a strip at the back edge to hold that on and I need a tall piece at the front to hold that piece of bed onto the to the bed with the fences on it. So I planed the strip on the back edge to where it was just a hair thinner than the MDF. I didn't want it to catch on the table saw table as I was sliding it back and forth on the table saw. So I drilled some holes and I screwed that to the sled. And in using screws, I can remove this extra bit of bed if I need to and replace it as it gets worn out. And if I want to angle the blade, I'll get multiple cuts into that, into that new piece of bed for the sled. And I can make the vertical piece that goes on the front. I have a big piece of maple I, I cut a little piece off of. And I clamped it where it was going to go with a little struggle. <laughs> and I remembered that I wanted to cut off one of the corners to give a little more room next to the upper fence. So I cut off one of the corners at a, at a pretty steep angle, or a pretty shallow angle, I guess. And this, I just kind of eyeballed the angle. And then I sanded that smooth, just to make it pretty. <laughs> then I could attach it to the, to the sled. And I had gotten better with the, the clamp at this point. <laughs> and then just screws to hold this in place. And then the sled is ready to get put together. And also in using the sled a little bit, I really wanted to make knobs for the bolts that tighten the, the fences in place. So I cut out four little knobs out of Paduke. And they need to be fairly small because they need to be smaller than the width of the fences. Because you don't want them in the way of your, your workpiece. And I got some little inserts to go in. One thing that's nice with the CNC is I can adjust that hole to where it's exactly the right size so that the little inserts aren't too tight and aren't too loose. And the sled can go together. Now the other critical piece is I need a stop that will allow me to make each segment the same length. And that stop can't be a part of the sled because that would trap the segment between the stop and the blade. But it also has to stay out of the way of the new section of sled that I just made. So I'm gonna make two strips of wood, one with a hole in it and then one with a slot in it. And I can put the piece with the hole in it on the bottom and the piece with the slot on top. And then that, that will allow me to move the top piece back and forth and give me a stop for the segments on the sled, <laughs> if that makes sense. And it needs a little runner to go in the, the table saw slot. You can see how that works. So you can see I can cut one angle, and if I use that same fence, I just get a parallel cut, but if I move the piece to the other fence, I then get a segment with the angle that's the difference between the two fences. And it brings the segment back behind the blade, and I can pick the segment up, and the blade is behind the, the big wall of the, the front of the sled. So I think this setup is a little safer. And it isn't so much that you can't pick up a piece next to the blade. It's that when you're doing thousands of little segments, it just, it just takes one little lapse in concentration and you, you touch the blade of your finger. Thanks for watching.